Hi followers of my YouTube channel, a few of you have been asking what kind of uh, cameras and uh, mounts and how do I record all my videos. So instead of answering the question over and over, which can be a lot of work and tedious, I figured it might be easier to create a video and simply provide you the links with and I think uh, an, an image is probably worth a thousand words as they say. So I think this will help. So here we go. This is the uh, field guide to how the Canadian flying bacon records his uh, flight lessons. All right, so here we go. I currently am recording with the GoPro Hero 3, which looks exactly like this one here, which is the GoPro Hero 3 Plus model, black edition. They're both, the, the Hero 3 and the Hero 3 Plus that I have are black editions. They look exactly the same. The Plus is just the new model. Uh, the reason why I like the Plus and I wish all my cameras was uh, Hero 3 Plus is it has a super view mode. It uh, allows you to have more vertical and horizontal field of view. Um, so the Hero 3 Plus that I'm holding as you can see is in a ram mount. It's a suction mount. Has an extension arm which is important. You'll see why. I use this to uh, shoot the dash and the uh, outside view so the further back you can be the better it is to capture all your dash and the outside view in one shot so it comes with a uh, a ball for a GoPro attachment uh, I don't know why I have a platform I guess I bought the platform one instead of a GoPro uh, double tooth mount I guess I don't know how to call this I guess I got this instead so that I could put other cameras like the phone one that I use for my uh, pilot view it's a contour HD 1080p uh, I bought this several years ago so instead of buying new uh, cameras which would have cost a little too much as it is my flight lessons are running up a bit so I don't want to spend too much money so this has a uh, I think it's a quarter or an eighth inch thread but it's not a GoPro mount obviously it's a thread so I need a platform like this so I made everything a platform and I just ended up buying one of these uh, smart tree smart tree I don't know S-M-A-T-R-E-E -E. they're full aluminum so they're not gonna break they might bend but I doubt that's gonna be the case so like I said this is my outside view and this contour is my pilot view the camera I'm currently holding using to record this video uh, goes into this mount here instead of an extension mount I just put on top uh, the small extension arm to my GoPro that way it gives me a little bit of vertical clearance and that's what I use in my left window or the right window depending usually I I shoot off the left side so what do we do now might be asking now how do I actually record the audio that's usually the question I get so to record the audio we obviously need a cable that patches into the audio panel but at the same time we need to be able to hear what the uh, audio panel is giving us obviously we want to hear the ATC or passenger what you need is obviously a cable such as this one it has a quarter inch nail plug that splits into a quarter inch female. This is where we'll plug our headset. Uh, I think it might be our headset um, audio, I would think. I couldn't be for certain, but this is where you plug your uh, headset. The quarter inch, the other plug is smaller, so only one plug will fit in. And then at the other end, we have this uh, mini USB that goes right into our GoPro I had to make a hole through the uh, GoPro case here but you can see clearly below the uh, SD card is the mini USB so you plug that in and that's what's gonna carry the audio to your camera and the audio to your headset 
So all you do then is come to your audio jack wherever they may be in your plane in this uh, 172 Romeo model. They're right here on the left side. So I plug the quarter inch into here. I then take my headset. In this case I'm using a Bose A20 Aviation. I really love these. Never actually tried any other but all my pilot's friends have been recommending that so that's what I got. So you take your headset quarter inch and you plug that in. It's kind of hard with just one hand so bear with me. That goes in there. The other part of your headset goes into the other audio part of your audio panel like so. So then all you have to do is take the USB cable and plug it into your GoPro. I'm getting a little bit of resistance. There we go. As such. And that's it. Alright, so we covered how the cable plugs into your audio panel and the camera. So all we have to do now is set up our cameras. So the way I like to set up my cameras is obviously I want a shot of forward. I tried various uh, location. I've tried where this camera is on the left side but pointing forward which only gives you about half of the cowling outside. Kind of good for the pilot perspective but I think it's much better to have a full view of your outside view and at the same time if possible to get your instruments. That's one thing I've always liked to know is, you know, am I flying at the right speed, my altitude, what's my uh, attitude indicator so that when I'm debriefing, reviewing the video, I can see all that in one shot. I don't have to use two cameras, one on my chest filming the instrument and one above filming outside. So I try to kill two birds with one stone. So all you do then, as you can see here, is the GoPro is just a, uh, mounted to a ram mount suction put into the windshield at the top and pretty much centered with uh, the instrument panel. Uh, as you'll see here my cable runs up to the vent around the vent and around the mount and back into my camera. It does have the problem that if your cable comes loose well you now have to deal with a cable in your hands while you're flying which happened to me today Therefore, a lot of people, well, I won't say a lot of people, I know a lot of, uh, a few YouTube uh, producers, channels, they use a digital voice recorder that they can plug in any audio part. It doesn't have to be the pilot side, it could be the rear passenger, and therefore it's out of the way. They set it, they forget it. it has advantages. Like I said, you can be anywhere, it doesn't have to be in the way. At the same time, disadvantage is if there's a problem with it, you're not going to know about it. Whereas this, if for somehow the cable comes loose, which means the camera is no longer recording the audio, I'm going to know about it. Uh, unless obviously the problem is on the other uh, prong of my Y cable. If uh, the problem was going to the GoPro or the GoPro itself, I wouldn't know. But at least, you know, I know what I do, which I forgot today is to tape that. I put a duct tape on that, doesn't come off, not an issue. So moving on then, like I said, I had like to give a fill perspective I guess, shooting from the left side. Sometimes I'll be shooting from the right side where my camera is, but usually, you know, as pilot, we like to turn left and looking out our side, so great view. At the same time, as you just saw, on the right side, I shoot the pilot view. It's a pretty good horizontal field of view. I managed to get enough of uh, my instructor on the right side and myself. Could be better if I was using a GoPro but it's definitely nice to be able to put a face to whoever you're hearing. So I think those three cameras is pretty much what you need at a minimum. I didn't bring it today but I do have another option instead of filming from the left side which is filming if you'll come with me a perspective that looks like this 
it allows me to see both the main gear and the nose wheel so that I can tell whether my landings are pretty good or they're horrible and I need to go back and work on it. And here is the camera mounted to my wing strut. As you can see, it's a aluminum boot, I guess I'll call it, that's attached to the front of the wing by way of a velcro strap. As you can see here, the strap goes around and into the eyelet and you strap it down it holds pretty tight you would think maybe it would come loose especially when you look at these small tooth compared to what I'm used to but the velcro has never come off quite honestly I think I would much prefer having a velcro strap than the options I've heard people using of suction mounts actually on the exterior of an aircraft I would think as you climb in altitude and the pressure reduces compared to the suction in or the pressure created in the suction of your mount would allow it to release so I would not put $300 on, on the line go with a velcro strap that reminds me cost wise <laughs> what's all this cost well the GoPros are not cheap the GoPro 3 is probably a good $300 uh, the GoPro 4 if you want to go for it I think it's four or five hundred if not more so I think like I said the 3 plus is a good model get the black edition should be about 300 the ramp mount is probably 30 35 dollars each and the cable the outer cable I think I paid 50 dollars and as I said the wing it mount uh, I believe I paid 125 so you're talking about probably at least a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars quite an investment but I thought it was I had most of the camera and I still think it's worth it it allowed me to review my videos, do a debrief, see what I did right, what I did wrong, what I didn't catch Joe, my instructor, saying while we're flying. So invaluable. And it's a way of recording your flight experience, right? So I think that's about it. Oh, I am uh, forgetting to mention one thing, uh, one setting. For the camera you're shooting outside and including your instrument panel, since it's attached to the top of the windshield hanging down, it is recording upside down. Therefore, you need to change the setting to put the image right side up while shooting upside down. To do this, you go into your setting menu, the little wrench, and then to the capture menu, Capture settings, you click on that. The first menu after that is called up with two arrows pointing different direction. So clicking into this menu, you have the option of on or off. Make it on, select on, and it will flip it upside down. So don't forget to do that, else your image is gonna be upside down. If that's the case, it's not that big of a deal. There's uh, tools like uh, Apple QuickTime Pro which will allow you to flip it upside down or well, right side up and save it to this or another alternative I believe my uh, editing tool which is Cyberlink Power Director Power Director allows you to uh, flip it as well I think so that's the other thing to produce my video I use a software uh, I didn't feel like buying though it's a great product it's a little bit more than I want to pay for a software uh, Adobe Premiere awesome software but I went with Cyberlink Power Director version 13 I believe does everything multi-track uh, I don't know what else but that's what I use I use multi-track I lay down my uh, 304 video uh, sound and yeah you just go along chop it up uh, decide which track you want where resizing picture in picture it does the whole gamut Another question that I get from time to time is whether to use a prop filter on the camera. A filter that looks a bit like this. The filter, for those that are not aware, allows the prop to look more smooth. It helps with an issue that pretty much all camera, video cameras have that is called a rolling shutter issue. So this filter makes the prop look smooth rather than jaggy and stop motion in a way. Um, 
if that's what you're looking for it works i personally decided not to go with it anymore uh if you want to look if you want to see what it looks like the first two or three videos that it produced had the prop filter but as you'll notice in the video it makes the video darker and the colors not as vivid which to me were more important than just a smooth prop filter i mean you're not watching the video to look at a prop a smooth prop you're there to look at nice blue skies blue vivid skies grounds so i decided to um, throw the filter away well i think that pretty much wraps it up i think i've answered all the questions that i've been getting over and over if i miss one let me know i'll be more than happy to answer it maybe i'll create another video so i hope this was insightful and uh Go forth, create your own channel, create videos, and share with the world. Don't forget to go to shareaviation.com, like my channel, subscribe as well, and uh, hope you have blue skies. Canadian Flying Bacon, out. Wherever you are in the world, share your aviation. Share Aviation, a network for pilots by pilots.